Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about black holes. Students, if a star is dense enough, its escape velocity will be the speed of light, making it impossible for light emitted by star to escape the star's gravity. The idea of dark star is not correct, but it is still important. The problem is that it uses older theory of gravity instead of Einstein's newer theory. Newton's theory is good for calculations near the surface of the earth. But when escape velocity is larger, say 10% of the speed of light or larger, that means that Newton's theory of gravity is no longer sufficient to calculate the strength of gravity. Albert Einstein equations correctly describe relativistic effects at high speeds. They improved on Newton's theory of gravity. Einstein's theory of gravity is called theory of general relativity. In general relativity, mass, energy and angular momentum are all responsible for creating curvature in space-time. To create a dark star, we might start with a target star and compress it inwards to make it smaller and denser while keeping amount of mass unchanged. Students, as the star shrinks in size, the escape velocity from the surface becomes faster and faster until it becomes equal to the speed of light. At this point, Newton's theory just predicts that light won't be able to escape. R is equal to 2gm by c square, where c represents the speed of light. And it will appear dark. In order for stars to exist, there's a delicate balance between its gas molecules, which exerts a net outward pressure that is exactly balanced by the attraction of gravity allowing the star to stay the same size over time. When a star gets so small that its escape velocity is the speed of light, then the required outward gas pressure is infinite. There is no way to create infinite gas pressure, so the star is unstable and begins collapsing inwards. A black hole is what remains after a star is unable to resist gravity and collapses inwards. Students, a black hole does not have a surface, but there is a special boundary that surrounds a black hole called an event horizon, as shown in this picture. John A. Wheeler in 1967 named it a black hole. Before that, astronomers used the name totally gravitationally collapsed objects. Students, in today's lecture, we have discussed about black holes and its detail. This is all about this lecture. Thank you so much.